Hello everybody, Loads of Life here bringing guys a brand new archetype analysis. Today we're talking about a new deck out of Inov, and that is Chem Critters. Uh, I, okay, before we actually talk about the actual deck, I hate the TCG name for these. <clears throat> okay, I don't get what was wrong with Chemical Beasts, but Konami seems to think that name wasn't good enough for TCG, so they changed it to Chem Critter. Yeah, <laughs> I don't really get it either. Anyway, so out of the, like, I think like five or so new archetypes out of Inov, let's see, you have Chem Critters, Crystrons, Predaplants, uh, I think there's some more, I can't remember. <laughs> but you have like a bunch of new archetypes out of Inov, and a lot of people are kind of arguing as to whether this deck is weaker or if Crystrons are weaker. Like, because those, they're, they're two new archetypes, they're releasing at the same time. They have. Uh, very interesting play styles and like, a lot of people are really really debating because both decks are honestly kind of like subpar like uh, honestly but overall I think they're both good tier 2 decks uh, that being said though I don't know if they're going to go and <laughs> top any regionals or anything but I do like what we got here I do think that uh, Konami has a good basis for Kim Critters but my biggest issue is that there's just not enough of them. I mean, look, seven cards, and I don't think they're getting anything out of Raging Tempest, if I remember correctly. Uh, Crystrons are getting two new main deck monsters and a Synchro, and Chemical Beasts, or sorry, Chem Critters, are getting nothing. And I think that's really stupid. <laughs> anyway, so let's actually talk about the deck now. So the deck is comprised of three level twos, two level eights, a rank eight, a spell card, which is technically part of the archetype but also technically not it's generic uh, gemini support and a really 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 good trap card so being gemini's they all are treated as normal monsters while on the field uh before you normal summon them a second time uh, or in the graveyard and yeah that's basically the whole gemini gimmick now the original idea with gemini's was that gemini's would have more like really really powerful effects that normal monsters of that level would not have. Uh, that was the original idea, but the first wave of Geminis from, what, like, Tactical Evolution did not prove that very well. Like, I think the best one was, like, Lied Piper, Lead Piper, whatever he was, Piper Fairy Dude, with 1500 attack, and if he inflicted battle damage, you got to draw a card. Which, that was okay for the time, but 1500 attack won't really get you much. And he was win, so you couldn't even use the Honest with him. So, that was the original idea with Gemini's. And I really think that Chem Critters took that idea and really, really expanded on it. But with that being said, a lot of these creatures, they really could have just been normal effect monsters. And the deck would still probably be just as good, if not arguably even better. So, their main deck boss monster is Polly, Chem Critter, Diox, Ogre. Uh, it's basically, I think, a combination of Ox and... I think that's Crab. Yeah, Ox and Crab. Uh, he's pretty beefy. 2800, level 8. Fiend, Dark. I believe, yeah, all their attributes and types are everywhere. <laughs> he's a Gemini, as normal. Uh, but his Gemini effect is pretty good. So, the first Gemini effect of him is the normal summon of a Gemini monster cannot be negated. Uh, this is really good for the general fact that you will be normal summoning a lot in this deck. You'll also be able to be able to special summon a lot with this deck. But being able to make it to where your opponent cannot negate the normal summon of a Gemini means your opponent cannot saw a warning whenever you just basic normal summon him. And they cannot negate the uh, second normal summon of your Geminis. Which is really, really, really good and helps out the deck a lot. Uh, and then his other effect is also really good. Once per turn, you can banish a Gemini from your graveyard and target a card your opponent controls. Destroy it. I think it'd be better either if they got rid of the targeting and made and kept the once per turn part, or made it uh, not once per turn, but made it but kept the targeting. So I, it's a good effect. Don't get me wrong. And if you have multiple of them out, he can just pop like two to three cards every turn. But I still feel like it would have been better if he was either, you could either use it multiple times a turn and keep the targeting, or if he got rid of the targeting and kept the one per turn. Anyways, he's still a really good card, and like, let me just say, all three of these are like mandatory three ofs, except arguably Hawk. <laughs> and I'll get to why here shortly. 
Uh, next up is Poly Chemic Critter High Dragon. He's a level 8. He has the reverse stats of uh, Diox Ogre. And he is a Dragon Water, so pretty decent there. Uh, 200 attack, 2800 defense. You're never going to want to normal summon this guy unless you already have a level 8 out. Uh, his uh, Gemini effect is when another Gemini monster is normal summon, you can make that monster gain 500 attack and defense. That is pretty nice. It turns your crab into, well, like 1300. It turns your hog into a 1900. And a 1900 level 2 is hilarious to me. I, I just find that hilarious. Uh, I wish it could give the 500 attack if a monster is special summoned, not just normal summon, because that help out a lot. This deck does special summon quite a lot, uh, especially whenever you include some other Gemini support and just normal monster support in general. So only having the attack and defense boost uh, it, only on normal summon is kind of annoying, but it's still nice. And then if a Gemini monster or monsters you control would be destroyed by a card effect, you can destroy one other card you control instead. It's basically a Cosmo uh, Landwalker, I think. Yeah, the level 6 who can destroy another dude if you're, one of your dudes would be destroyed. So I really like him. He's okay. Uh, you generally just use him as XYZ bait with uh, Dioxin. <laughs> Sorry, Diox Ogre. Uh, pretty good, though. Next up is Chemic Critter Hydrogen Hawk. This guy is okay in my personal opinion i mean his effect seems good when you first read it but when put into practice it's just kind of meh so you can discard one card and target a gemini in your graveyard special summon it in defense position okay and you can only do that once per turn my biggest issue with this guy i actually have two big issues first and foremost it has to be in defense position which is okay if you're summoning high dragon but if you want to summon diox ogre you summon him in defense. He's 200 defense. He's going to get ran over next turn unless you make an Xyz with him. Secondly, the simple fact that it does not give the Gemini its effects. It should give the Gemini that Gemini's effects on it without having you to worry about it. Uh, same thing with Ox. <laughs> okay, I, I'm just going to say that now about Ox. I like Ox. He's a lot better than this guy. But Ox should do it as well. Uh, so that's my biggest issue with him, okay? If I get it off of Butterfly, okay? Blazewing Butterfly is a much better, and it's a level 4 <laughs> compared to level 2. I mean, like, Blazewing Butterfly is just better than Hydrogen Hawk. Like, you don't also have to get rid of a card out of your hand. Uh, you know, like, this guy's basically a weaker version of Blazewing Butterfly. It's only as simple as that. Uh, he's okay at best. Personally, I've been playtesting him at 1, and even then, I've been considering dropping him. Uh, next up is Chemic Critter Carbo Crab. <laughs> uh, the cutest one of the bunch, uh, and also arguably one of the best ones. During your main phase, you can send any Gemini monster, uh, sorry, Gemini monster from your deck to the graveyard, then add a Gemini monster from your deck to your hand. No restriction on levels, no restriction on what kind of Gemini monster, it, it's just any Gemini, add another Gemini. So, like, you can pitch a Phoenix Scare Free to add an Oxyox. You, you can do that. You can do any of any combination, whatever. It doesn't matter. The only stigmatization is that it's only usable once per turn. You can't have multiple Carbo Crabs out and use all three effects. No, you can only get one, which is a bit annoying, but it also kind of makes sense because being able to flood your graveyard with three guys while also getting three guys to your hand. Good lord, yeah, just think about the combos you could do. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be hilarious and scary. Uh, but, however, what we do have with him is really good. He just helps facilitate the deck. And, and heck, if you have Burnout while you also have him out, it's just it's just so good. It's just so, so good. It's not even funny, even though I'm laughing. A really, really good card. I like him a lot. Uh, very, very useful for the deck. And heck, even good in any like generic Gemini deck. Next up is Oxy Ox. This guy, again, like with Carbon Crab, is tied for the best card in the deck. Uh, the, like, sorry, best monster, I should say. So, during your main phase, you can specimen one Gemini monster from your hand. Again, it's any Gemini. It doesn't have to be a Chemic Critter, which is so good. <laughs> from your hand, and if you do all Gemini monsters you currently control, become that monster's original level until the end of this turn. Okay. Using this guy's effect while you have two other Geminis out just makes it to where you have four level eights. And that is stupid. <laughs> uh, sadly, you don't get that Gemini monster's effect. And also, sadly, this guy can only be used once per turn. 
But, however, this allows you to make rank 8s, rank 2s, rank 4s if you're playing level 4s. And it's just is really, really good. He is the main guy, main combo piece that you'll be using to be able to actually get your plays off. He's really, really good. And if he gets effect favorite, you can kind of just simply kiss your win goodbye. <laughs> uh, with that being said, though, again, I do have some grievances. He cannot, uh, it, he doesn't give that monster its effects. And heck, really, that's also only my real big one. Uh, next up is Catalyst Field. Field spell, really, really good spell card. I wish they got at least one more spell card, but oh well. Uh, so each turn, one level 5 or higher Gemini monster you normal summon can be summoned without tributing. That is flat out amazing, right? Just then and there. During your main phase, you can normal summon one Gemini monster in addition to your normal summon or set. So you get an extra normal summon every turn. Uh, once per turn, you can target one card your opponent controls. Banish one Gemini monster you control that is treated as an effect monster and has gained its effects until your opponent's end phase, and if you do, destroy that card. So, the this card has three good effects. First and foremost, you can just normal summon a level 5 or higher dude for free, okay? Generally speaking, that's going to be either Diox Ogre or Phoenix Gearfreed. Sometimes it'll be High Dragon just so you can make an Xyz, but that doesn't really happen too often. Then you can normal summon another dude for free, or that same guy so you get his uh, Gemini effect, and then you can get rid of it for until the end of your opponent's turn. Yes, that does reset it to being a normal monster, but that doesn't really matter, and then you can pop a card. I really wish the popping did not target, but however, it still helps with the deck, still helps uh, keeping your opponent's stuff under control, still helps getting rid of generic problem cards. Like, for instance, if your opponent has, like, an Ophion out, you can use this card's effect, target, like, you can, like, normal summon out any of your Geminis, uh, normal summon them a second time, use their effects, and then use this card effect to try and bait out that uh, Evil Swarm infection. Uh, but, however, it, it can be used for uh, just so many other things, just getting to pop any card your opponent controls. <clears throat> Part of me kind of wishes it could pop any card on the field, so that then you could destroy your own supervise and get its effect off and just do all sorts of crazy combos, but oh well, you can't have everything. Next up is Burnout, and this trap card is flat out amazing. <laughs> like, it is so good for the deck. Uh, so, banish one face-up chemic critter monster you control, okay? Notice how this is also the only card that specifies it has to be used of chemic critters. Uh, special summon two chemic critter monsters from your deck with different names from each other. When you're, and then it has another effect. When your opponent declares a direct attack, except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard and target one of your banished Gemini monsters, special summon it, and if you do, it becomes an effect monster and gains its effects. You can only activate one burnout per turn. Okay, so first and foremost, I get rid of one dude. So, ideally, it would probably be Carbo Crab. Sorry, excuse me. You normal summon Carbo Crab. You normal summon him a second time thanks to Catalyst Field. You use his effect, ditch a dude, add a dude. Probably going to be Ox. Then you set your Burnout. Opponent goes. They do their stuff, tries to attack. You activate Burnout. Or let's say they MST it or try to do something with that. Activate Burnout. Banish Carbo Crab. And special summon Dioxin. Uh, sorry, Diox Ogre. And High Dragon from your deck. This card is so good. Okay, it's an auto rank 8, auto rank 2. Not only that, but also if it's in your graveyard, you can just banish it, special summon any of your dudes from your banish zone, and they gain their effects. Granted, though, you gotta wait for your opponent to declare a direct attack, and it cannot be used to turn it into a sent to the graveyard, but that is still really, really good. It protects you, gets you a monster, gives it its effects, and just makes it to where your opponent can't really do anything because they're staring down a 20 under beat stick now. <laughs> and I really, really like that. Also, it's in graveyard effect, does not have to target chemic critters. Yes, its first effect does specifically go with chemic critters, but if, like, let's say you banished your Phoenix Gearfreed for whatever reason, or, like, your opponent, like, I don't know, DD Corrode him for some reason, or more likely BLS'd him, then you can just use this, bring him back, and, hey, look at that, you got a free monster reborn every time your opponent activates a spell card. <laughs> uh, one of the reasons why I like Phoenix Gearfreed so much. So, really, really, really good trap card. I like it a lot. I, I want to see more of this. As I said, this deck has a good, good foundation. But there just needs to be more. <laughs> okay? It's like building a house, or sorry, building a foundation for a house, and then not building the house on top of it. It's 
very, very annoying. Uh, now, that being said, though, this deck does still have one more card, and that is Full Alchemic Critter Methy Dragon. Uh, sorry, Draco. Uh, first and foremost, I, I know it's referencing methane, but the way they put it here, I, it kind of makes it sound like they're re like referencing meth. <laughs> just, just saying. So, sorry about the interruption, guys. I had to go and help out my father or something. So, anyways, yeah, as I was saying, the name kind of made me laugh a little bit with this guy because I know it's repre I know it's referencing methane due to the Japanese name, but I can't. But wait, they should have put like an A there, so it's like Methodraco, because if with Methodraco, <laughs> kind of just makes me think of like you know the drug meth and stuff. Uh, because I don't know, just jokes. Anyway, so it's a beast warrior for some reason again the rank the typing and attributes are everywhere uh 3k by 3k rank 8 fire uh xyz monster obviously two level eight gemini monsters to go into so he's really really kind of specific but also kind of generic he's not hard to go into in this deck uh when he is xyz summon you can target a gemini in your graveyard special summon it Again, I wish it treated it as its effects act had already been applied. But no, Konami didn't do that for some reason. While this card has XYZ material, monsters your opponent controls cannot target Gemini monsters you control for attacks. I really, really like that just because it protects your little guys. Also, your opponent cannot target Gemini monsters you control with card effects. Kind of makes me wish that you could have a Gemini extract monster, but the only way they could do that is if they ever did Gemini pendulums, which... By the way, now that I just said that, Konami, if you guys give these things more support, give them pendulums. Like a scale 1 and a scale 9, that would be awesome. <laughs> just saying. So, <clears throat> anyways, a uh, really, really good effect just right off there, protecting your little guys, protecting your other guys, and just simply making it to where you get a free monster just by summoning the dang thing. So, the last effect of them is arguably the best as well. I mean, th this thing is just an overall good boss monster this is good boss monster design it could have been better yes and yes i would have tweaked some things but again it's just an absolutely good boss monster and it's just this last effect is just a cherry on top of the cake when a gemini monster is normal summoned you can detach one xyz material from this card make your opponent send one card from their hand or field to the graveyard their choice this is not once per turn none of this thing's effects are once per turn so, theoretically, if you have two of this guy out, and you normal summon, I don't know, you have a Kados field out, so you normal summon out your Diox Ogre, and you have two of these guys out. I've done this too, by the way. <laughs> it's not hard to do. You have two of these guys out, you normal summon the, this guy for his basic normal summon, you detach both of these, two, two of these, okay, so one from one copy, one from the other, you detach one from each, your opponent sends two cards, and then you normal summon this guy for his Gemini summon. You detach another two, and hey, look at that. You just got four cards out of your opponent's hand or field. <laughs> it's so good. Like, this card is just a really, really good boss monster overall. I like it a lot. My biggest issue is we don't have more. Again, we only got one XCs, and it's a rank eight. More than half of this deck is level two, okay? And only one of them makes them level eights. And that's a big issue. Th this deck should have had at least a one rank two as well, along with the rank eight. And that's a really big issue with this deck. I mean, I, I know it doesn't seem like it much, but it really does. It it's a kind of big issue when you can't make this guy. Which, honestly, doesn't really happen much. You can usually make him by turn two, turn three, so some setup. Uh, maybe even turn one if you open really good, like just this guy, this and this. Uh, then you can do it easily. But again, it would have been nice to have a rank 2 just for the options, especially if it's as good as this card. Now, obviously, even though this deck does not have much support in its own name, you have everything involving Geminis. Okay? Everything. The, and Geminis have a lot of support. <laughs> okay? Ignoring uh, Gemini Imps and Gemini Elf, you have freaking... 29 cards minus the uh five monsters uh, so seven cards here so minus the eight cards from that so you have like 21 cards that are non chemical that you can use in this deck 
Granted, though, only a few of them are really good. Not to mention, though, you do also have everything that supports normal monsters uh, for this deck as well. So, you have a lot of options with how you build this deck. And I think certain people, I'm not naming anybody in specific. <coughs> uh, that was a genuine cough. I was not going to cough somebody's specific name. But anybody can take a guess who, I w who I'm referring to here. Unlike certain people, I genuinely think that this deck has potential. And I genuinely think that if somebody like is able to who, who knows the deck well and like really, really, really takes it through uh and like just makes like uses a really, really good build that they make, I feel like they could potentially top a tournament or two. Maybe not in this current format due to ABC, because ABC are just godly annoying to duel against unless like you tech your deck out ridiculously to duel against him uh but however i feel like in a slower format maybe once the game slows down a bit which i don't know if it's going to <laughs> hopefully sometime soon because we haven't had a slow format in a while and a slow format would be nice but in a slow format this deck could do some work it could be they could top a tournament or two a regional or two i should say maybe not ycs level unless they get some really good support like maybe pendulums i'm just saying pendulums would really really help out this deck <laughs> uh but however what they do have here is a really solid basis uh, now, with the older cards, personally, these are the ones that I've been using, along with, obviously, this card over here. Uh, I've also been testing out Super Alloy Beast Raptinus. Uh, these are all really good options to play, especially Phoenix Gearfried. For those who don't know what Phoenix Gearfried does, by the way, he's one of the best Gemini monsters to use in a deck. Especially, well, obviously, a Gemini deck. So, he's a level 8, 2822, Fire Warrior. Already, he has synergy with the deck due to him being level 8. So, obviously, rank 8 plays. Uh, when your opponent activates a spell card, you can select one Gemini monster in your graveyard and special summon it. I could end it right there, and this card would still be good. <laughs> okay? So, anytime your opponent activates a spell card, I get a monster reborn. And, by the way, pendulums count as activating a spell card when you put them in your pendulum zone. <laughs> so, if your opponent wants to complete their scales and you have this guy out, you get two cards right away. It's stupid. And by the way, it doesn't specify any like any specific Gemini's. It's just any Gemini. Which is really good. You can specify on two other copies of this guy if you wanted to. <laughs> uh, anyway, so his other effect is also you can send one face-up equip card you control to the graveyard to negate the activation of a spell or trap card and the, that targets a monster to the field and destroy it. Obviously, the main card you're going to be using is Supervise, which is one of the best equipped spell cards in the game, and that would trigger uh, Supervise, getting you a free monster from your graveyard. Uh, Blazewing Butterfly is just a better version of Hydrant Hark Hawk. Yes, you lose Blazewing Butterfly out of the summon, but you get your uh, creature. It goes in whatever mode you want it to be in, and it keeps its and it gets its effects. I should say, it, really, really, really good. I like it a lot, uh, a lot better than Hydrant Hark at least. <laughs> Super Alloy Beast Reptinus basically just gives everybody their uh, uh, Gemini effects right off the bat. And it's just and it's super generic too. Any two Gemini monsters to make them. 2200 attack, 2200 defense. Not terrible, not good in terms of the stats. But the effect is really, really good right away. Not to mention he's a level 8, okay? And that I, I can't help but feel like that Konami looked at why like all the Gemini stuff in the past and everything. And they noticed that a lot of the Gemini, like, good stuff are level 8. Like, the Gemini Synchro is uh, is a level 8 as well. And by Gemini Synchro, I mean the Synchro that supports Gemini's uh, is a level 8 as well. So, this deck can do a lot of uh, rank 8 spam, which is really, really good. And there are a lot of good rank 8s out there. You have uh, Galaxy Eyes Cypher Dragon, uh, heck, the whole Galaxy Eyes lineup. You have um, Galaxy, crap, what is he called? Galaxy, Titanic Galaxy, that's what he's called. Who, by the way, is still an amazing card. Just being able to negate your opponent's spell cards and then attaching it to it as exceeds material. This deck, again, has a lot of potential, but I would still like to see more from it. And I feel like Konami kind of just released these, what, seven, eight cards and just kind of want to want people just kind of do with what that we have now that being said though again the deck has a lot of potential heck you have three level eights you can play in the deck and that means 
hey, you, you. by the way, I've been personally playing three of each of these guys, and triple trading works really, really well, <laughs> okay? Along with triple terraforming, the deck has a lot of consistency, a lot of potential, and a lot of power. It's just right now, it's really lacking in the support. Okay, this is one of those under-supported archetypes that I really feel like that Konami should continue visiting. And partly because Geminis don't really get much uh, anymore. Heck, the last time I got a Gemini before these guys was, what, like, I can't even remember, 2006? Probably when we got Brute Drago here. Oh yeah, the, uh, the level 4 that counts as a tuner when he's Gemini summoned. Uh, <laughs> which uh, is a bit annoying, by the way. Um, so yeah, the deck is... I again I feel like it has a lot of potential I feel like somebody could break it out there I've been testing it out a lot I'm just gotta get what I need for the uh, IRL stuff I'm missing three of these guys two more of him I don't have any of him I don't have any of oh I have one of this <laughs> uh, I forgot that uh, it came out in the legendary collection not the legendary collection the legendary decks the one for Joey if I remember correctly so yeah guys what do you guys think about uh chemical critters chemical beast chemical critters whatever you want to call these things i like them a lot i like the gimmick i think it's really really cool i wish konami would just expand on it more give them more stuff what we have here is good um and i, I just feel like that we could really just use more of it if konami were to release another eight cards for chemical critters of this level of uh, like goodness overall goodness i should say the deck could be a solid tier two, maybe even tier one if it's good enough. Uh, support deck. I, I really genuinely think it. So tell me what you guys think. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry if my voice sounds a little bit raspy. I can't talk too loud, and also my throat is still kind of weird. <laughs> I can speak now though. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. See you all later and peace.